Hey guys, how you doing? This is Paul, and one of the most popular types of videos I do on my channel is my Tech Under series. And so far, I've gone over Tech Under $1, Tech Under $5, $50, and $100, but I have yet to do Tech Under $25. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys five pieces of tech and gear that I personally use and really enjoy, and they're all under $25, and all of their links will be in the description down below, so let's get right into it. This is called the U-Drive Twister, and this is a really neat product that allows you to transfer files between your Mac or PC to your Android or iPhone. It stores everything on a micro SD card and it can support up to 256 gigabytes of storage, but you do have to provide your own card. So once you have your card in, you can put it in your computer or your phone and start transferring files however you want to. But my favorite part of the product is how well it works with the mobile application in the iOS app store. When you first connect it via the lightning connector on the iPhone, it automatically detects it and asks to open the app. From there, you can look at any files you already have on it with a nice high quality viewer that's built into the application, or you can transfer files from your device. The app also allows you to back up your entire camera roll or contact list by creating a new folder and backing up everything you have. And this ensures that even if you lose your phone, you'll have a hard copy of all your important information stored and you can restore it by plugging it into another device and using the U-Drive application again. The physical design of the Twister is also great. I really love that the iPhone plug-in can twist around, hence the name of the product, so that it can be tucked away behind the device so it won't jut out from the bottom and potentially damage the lightning connector. I can see this product being really useful for storing and viewing larger files that you don't want to keep on your device like longer movies, and it's also nice to be able to easily back up your information from your phone and transfer it over to your computer so you can free up more space on your phone. Next up we have the Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripod. I was definitely skeptical about this product at first because I just didn't think it would be worth $25, but after seeing a ton of people using it, I decided to purchase one and try it out for myself, and I was not disappointed. With Manfrotto products, you almost always know that it's going to be high quality, and even though the Pixie Mini is the cheapest of all their tripods, it is no exception. This thing is rock solid, and I can even use it with my Canon 80D with my Sigma 18-35 to lens, which weigh over 3 pounds. Because it's so small and portable, I can easily throw this in a bag with me, and as long as I can find a flat surface to set the camera up on, the Pixie Mini will work just fine. The ball head is incredibly easy to use, you just press the button on the side, adjust the head where you want it, and release the button again to have it stick in place. Also when the tripod legs are folded up, it makes for a surprisingly ergonomic handle to carry your camera with. So I can see this being a great addition to any vlogging setup. Because of the simplicity, reliability, and portability of the Pixie Mini tripod, I would recommend it to almost anybody who works with video, and it won't set you back too much at only about $22 at the time of this recording. If you're a long-term subscriber of this channel, you might remember one of the reviews I did a couple years ago about this Teotronics LED desk lamp. And even though I haven't mentioned it in a long time, I've been using it pretty much daily ever since. And you probably have noticed it in the background of a lot of my videos, and I think overall it makes a great addition to any desk. So the Teotronics model is currently about $34, but I managed to find another lamp that is exactly the same, just with a different brand label, for only $19.90 on Amazon. I love being able to change between the four different lighting modes, which change the temperature of the light. So for example, if it's later at night and I want some warmer light, I can set it to the relax mode, but during the day, I like to keep it on the reading mode. You can also adjust the brightness to one of five different levels. The base can swivel 180 degrees from side to side, and the arm can bend 
in a huge variety of ways so I can always get the lamp to the perfect spot. Another bonus is the USB charging port in the side of the lamp so you can charge your phone right at your desk. For under $20, I can highly recommend this to anybody searching for a modern looking, high quality desk lamp. Next up, we have the RA5230F Boom R microphone stand, which I'm actually using right now with my Blue Yeti. And if you record audio and video frequently, you probably wanna give this a look. So this was the first microphone stand I've owned, and I was looking for something to keep my microphone out of the frame when recording. And when I first unboxed it and set it up, I was blown away by the build quality. It's entirely metal and the entire stand feels solid and premium. The height can be adjusted to nearly six feet and the boom arm can extend about two and a half feet. The base is really heavy, which is what you want with a boom mic stand so it won't tip over when you're recording. If you have a really heavy microphone on the end of it, like the Blue Yeti, you might wanna use counterweights or sandbags but using it with lighter mics like the Zoom H1 or a shotgun mic would be just fine. Keep in mind that this stand uses the standard 5 8 inch microphone mount size, so you will need an adapter if your mic doesn't fit that size. So the last item I wanted to show you guys is this Joby ball head. And this originally came bundled with my Joby Gorilla Pod, but I'm considering purchasing another one because I use it all the time. I'd say what separates this ball head from most others out there is its simplicity. It's just so easy to use. The quick release plate is great. When you put it on your camera and slide it onto the ball head, you can hear a loud click that lets you know your camera is locked into place and good to go. And you can slide the camera off with the press of a button. The ball head is controlled with this big knob that has a nice rubber grip on it. To loosen the ball head, all you have to do is lightly twist the knob counterclockwise and then you can adjust it however you want to and you can twist the knob clockwise to lock it back. Despite this ball head's simplicity, it's still very solid, it's made entirely out of stainless steel and I definitely feel comfortable leaving my camera on it. So for under $25, I really do think this ball head is worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching, that was my first tech under $25 video. And if you want me to cover any other price points in a video like this, let me know in the comments down below. Also, I'd like to remind you guys that everything I talked about in this video will have a link in the description down below. And those are actually Amazon affiliate links, which means I get a small percentage back from your purchases. And it doesn't cost you guys anything extra, but it really helps the channel out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for some more content coming soon. Thanks.